Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this easy Korean side dish using just potatoes, salt, sesame oil, and scallions. That's it. That's all you need to make this delicious and refreshing potato side dish, 감자 반찬. 오늘의 레시피, 아주 간단하고 맛있는 감자 반찬 만들기. 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. Who doesn't like potatoes and rice together, right? And then you add kimchi on top. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. To make our Korean potato side dish, 감자 반찬, we need about 440 grams of potato. So we're gonna take our potato and we're just gonna slice the bottom off like that so that it remains flat and it doesn't wobble. And we're gonna slice them. So how thick to cut it? Just about like that, pretty thin. And then we're gonna stack them and just cut them into strips. It looks about this thin. Thicker than your spaghetti noodle, but not as big as your linguine noodle. And just continue cutting. And this is the end piece from earlier. This goes in too. And then we're gonna pick all this up and add it to a bowl of cold water while we cut the rest of our potatoes. And this is our second potato. And just do the same thing, cut the bottom off again and so that it remains flat. And then we're gonna cut this end first. So we're gonna keep this in here while we get our pot of water boiling. I have some water in here and we're gonna turn up the heat to high. So using a medium-sized pan, fill it about half or two-thirds and we're gonna wait for the water to start boiling. So while our water's boiling, we're gonna mince up our scallion. Pick it all up and then we're gonna add it to our mixing bowl right here. Our water's just about done boiling, so we're gonna put this in a strainer. To our pot of boiling water, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. And then quickly we're gonna add our potatoes into our pot of boiling water with some salt. Adding the salt is to pre-season our potato. Mix it up. Oh, and here is one clove of garlic that we're gonna add to our pot. So notice how our water is boiling now. We're gonna let this cook starting now for two minutes. So it's been two minutes, we're gonna turn off the heat and quickly bring this over to our stove. And we're gonna quickly bring down the temperature of our potato in cold water. I want you to be gentle with it so we don't break our potato sticks. So it's already getting cold now. So we just want our potato to be cold. Notice how it's still keeping its shape and not breaking apart. And then we're just gonna gently toss to shake off any excess water, like so. Again, be gentle so we don't break our potato sticks. And here's the garlic that we blanched with our potato. We're gonna bring it over to our bowl using a microplane. We're just gonna grate it. Why did I blanch our garlic? That is to remove the raw spicy taste and just keep our really yummy garlic taste that we want to infuse to our potato sticks. Yeah, always turn it over because there's so much that gets stuck behind. And I'm gonna add some black pepper, about less than quarter teaspoon. And I'm gonna first start with one pinch of salt, like that. And I'm gonna add some sesame oil, less than one tablespoon for now. I just want you to mix this. So basically this is our seasoning um, kind of sauce to toss our potato sticks in. And then I'm gonna add our blanched potato sticks. Just gently toss it. Again, we wanna maintain the shape of our potato sticks. So gently just mix it. I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Sesame oil really does a number on making food taste really, really yummy. This is done, this is it. So quick and so easy. This part is really, really important. You gotta taste your panchan to make sure you like it the way you like it, right? So I'm gonna have a quick taste. It's good if you wanna have it sort of on the less salty side, 
But for me, I'm gonna add one more pinch of salt because I like it a little bit saltier. And then mix it all up again. Taste it again. Mm. Now it's perfect the way I like it. It's kind of salty. It kind of tastes like french fries, but it's not obviously, and it's so much less calories for you. But it has that potato taste that we all love. That's pretty good. This is optional. You could add a little bit of toasted sesame seeds on top like that, and that's it. If you love potato and you don't want to eat anything fried, this is it for you. It's refreshing, light, slightly salty, and that creamy, nutty taste from the sesame oil, you're gonna love it. And you wanna get some Korean rice like that. Put some of our kamja banchan on top. Here we go, folks. This is carb on carb, and you're gonna love it with warm Korean rice and our slightly salty potato stick banchan. Uh uh. And the only thing that would make this better is a piece of kimchi on top like that. And my vegan friends, you welcome. <laughs> bon appetit, everyone. Mm. Mm. That was so yummy. <laughs> Who doesn't like potatoes and rice together, right? And then you add kimchi on top. Do I need to say anything else? And make sure to check out my Korean side dishes, panchan recipe playlist that you see right here. I wanna thank everyone for watching today and if you enjoyed watching today's video, as always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. 다음 비디오에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos right here.